Yeah, just got back, guys. All sorted. Got a bit of smoke. Um, quite a mission, though. Um, to be honest with you. Give me lighter. Normally I'm in here shivering. I've come in and I'm I've got the like the some kind of fever. Um but I've put the heating on, I'm just gonna keep warm. Um My brain's getting a bit more with it now. See what happens guys is my brain with the autism and the ADHD, my brain completely loses it. Um, to the point I can't concentrate. And if you can't concentrate on nothing, it just means you can't do anything. You're literally just paralysed. Um, that's the life of autism, guys, for a 52-year-old guy diagnosed two years ago with no support, no nothing. They put you on the amphetamines, throw you out into the wild and leave you there. Well, that's what I've noticed. Um, how the people that have never touched drugs before get along, I don't know. Obviously, I've, I've come from a drug background. I come from a world of fucking amphets and <laughs> ecstasy and acid and that. Do you know what I mean? I grew up on that. So it, it don't do me so much, but I'm thinking of them people that have never touched it. They must be in, just be in no man's land. You know, I mean, at least I know what, what the crack is. I know what's going on here. Whereas they probably don't. Um, but I've decided, guys, tomorrow I'm contacting my ADHD doctor. I'm going to put it on the line to them. I was funded over three years ago, and I've seen him once. I've been funded for four appointments. It's a joke, man. Anyway. Sorry if I'm looking a bit rough. I'm going to have a bath and a shave and everything tonight. Trying to sort myself out a bit. Um, I might even leave that till the morning. Just get my head together a bit tonight. Um, but I'll tell you what it is, guys. I went from seeing a doctor. That's what fucked me up. I'll tell you that now. I've told them that. I changed doctors because because I swore at the doctor. Well, I didn't. I swore. At, well, I didn't even swear. I was just aggressive in my tone, manner of speaking. Apparently which is quite common for people with autism and ADHD, which I told them that. I haven't been physically violent to anybody. As far as I'm concerned, I haven't been really verbal to anyone. But anyway, they moved, removed me from the surgery after 10 years with the same doctor. I said, look, I said, I've been swearing it in for 10 years. He swore at me as well. But anyway, yeah, they removed me from the practice. So I've joined the, I had to join another one that I've never even seen. That was a year ago. But basically, I went from seeing a doctor every day, guys, for 10 years. I mean, not every day, every week for 10 years to seeing nobody. And that's what's thrown me, the, the change in routine. You can look all that up. Very, very prevalent with ADHD and ASD as well. Um, you, you like to stick to the same routine. So obviously, 10 years seeing the same fella, and then boom, it all changes. It's screwed me head. And to be honest, I ain't been the same since. I've tried fighting that. You're fighting a losing battle. Whatever you're doing, you're fighting a losing battle. You can have as much evidence and proof as you want. You're still not going to get anywhere, trust me. It's all corrupt, man. NHS is corrupt. Uh, and I, I know that because I've been involved in it, trying to prove my point. But I spoke to them till I'm black and, black and blue in the face. You know what I mean? I ain't doing it anymore. Uh, it makes your own mental health worse. Um, but anyway... It's all good. Some smoke. Um, yeah. Going to upload this one, guys. I'm going to do a little madness video. Got some good mad... Well, some mad madness news. Anyway, whatever you're doing, have a good one.